Nora Jean here. We're gonna we I'm always speaking in plural like somebody's here with me other than Carl cooking in the kitchen. Uh I'm gonna be doing wood grain. Um there's a, a bit of history behind that. One of the first things that I did with polymer clay was make little bullseyes like this, thinking, that's how trees grow. Why can't we simulate wood grain and make it to scale for like model trains and other sort of miniature scenes and with polymer clay and so I thought you know instead of looking for wood that had a particular real wood that had particular size of grain to look real in a small scene a diorama so I, I thought whoa what a brain fart so I posted it to the miniatures uh, forums BBS and and to uh, polymer clay and uh, the response was uh, a resounding uh, dis disinterest <laughs> It was people who were invested in buying wood and having their tools. They were invested in buying wood, and miniaturists uh, didn't know for polymer clay around that time. So this is the first. This was the first tutorial uh, d back in God knows when. Okay, and um, and then this was one of my first wood canes. So and then I made it I made platters for my grilled cheeseburgers. My So then and I thought, oh maybe if we change the color we can do like a bamboo and so that was like my very first bamboo way back in the day I was trying to do like um Japanese tea set or something or another so I kept on and these were these experiments like this one the bamboo was like from 1999 so I kept on experimenting and then on in 2004 I put together sort of like a, a, a gap I started to put together reviews like of we're reviewing wood or we're reviewing you know juicy fruit for miniature food or whatever. So this is the this is the wood uh review. And there's like really cute this is <laughs> a hinged a hinged chest. I love that my little see that's a little hinged chest you can make tubes of clay and and the, and the chest can open up, yay! And um, and this is a little rocker, and it really does rock, really cute. So go back, back, back. So this is this review, 2004 review, uh, has links to um, faux wood chopped beads. Like, what do you do with it? What do you do with the leftover? You know, wood experiments, chop them up. This, oh my god, I love this one so much. This is, you know, polymer clay, full wood grain. That's the sculptor, sculpting of uh, Kai from Lex, uh, a.k.a. Michael McManus. And um, I cut it on a, I cut it on a diagonal. And it's just, I'm going to make another one of those. I ended up giving it away. And so then I took wood grain and I just like sliced it for his hair. It's a sideways Kai. And um, I made a bunch of different wood face, faux wood uh, Kai faces with different expressions, you know. So... Anyway, that's one thing. And then I just reviewed the, you know, the start of it, the the early tutorials, and uh, the faux Egyptian lady is <laughs> really fun because it's faux wood, faux malachite, faux um, uh, mocha and and faux Egyptian clothing. So that's where we're gonna go, and what I'm gonna be 
doing, oh, and you can do baskets, you can do like dim sum baskets and cups and bowls and, let's get a close up of that. So you can, you can weave your faux wood into like little dim sum baskets. Uh, there's like salad bowls, you can do uh, uh, pinch pots. There's, you know, I mean, it's like, it's up to you to figure out what, what you're going to do with your faux wood. It sure is easier than finding wood and carving it and stuff, although somebody did find me some wood and carved it and sent it to me, and it's like, oh my god, it's just like so beautiful. But who can do that? I mean, you know, it's like, we can do this, you know, Paul Clay. Okay, the colors that I mixed for today uh, is pine. And so it's a kind of light yellowish and a yellowish brown. And um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do a really easy pine uh, faux wood with polymer clay. God willing and the creek don't rise. 